So, hello YouTubers. This um, cardboard bag that you see in front of you actually contains my empties for the month of October, which I'm just going to run through quickly, telling you what I think and um, whether I would repurchase. The first of the empties is a bottle of Bioderma Creolin H2O. I think it's now rechristened Sensibo, um, but... Uh, this one I must have bought a little while ago. I tend to stock up on these when I go to France, although you can now get them relatively easy on the, in, easily on the internet, certainly here in the UK. Um, will I repurchase? Definitely. Uh, it is without doubt the best cleansing water hypoallergenic that I have ever come across. It gets um, most makeup off, only I would say the very... Um, most waterproof of waterproof mascaras and some really um, sticky eyeliners do I need to use an oil-based uh, cleanser for. So I use it sometimes for my full makeup removal. Often I use it instead of a, a tonic or freshener and to remove the last traces of makeup after I've used a, a cream cleanser. Um, it never causes breakouts. It's really good value. This um, bottle, which is 500 millilitres, 14 euros. Um, so, you know, about eight, nine quid, depending on the exchange rate. Um, and yeah, I've got backups already. They're making it now in a much wider range, so I've actually got one for sensitive skin. Although, to be honest, um, although I have relatively sensitive skin, this normal version has never caused me any um, problems at all. And I've been using it for the best part of a decade after reading somewhere that it was something that a lot of the professional um, artists in Europe, makeup artists use, particularly on models who are having to wear a lot of heavy makeup and having it removed often. Um, and I read that this was, you know, their go-to product. It was quite difficult to get your hands on those days outside of France where it's sold in every pharmacy, but now you can get it everywhere. I'm sorry if you can hear kind of banging in the background. Um, I think someone's taking some scaffolding down um, quite a way down the street, but I don't have double glazing, so you can hear it, um, or I can hear it really loudly. Now, the other thing that <clears throat> I would think about buying again, certainly, you know, I would like people to buy me as a gift, I guess, is the Laura Mercia bathing range. And I finished, um, that one I finished just last night. We're actually in November now, so this is a bit of a cheat, but I'd finished the others before I went away on holiday in mid-October. And um, Laura Mercia's um, body range, bathing range, um, again, it's very established. There are a couple of things... I don't like about it, which I'll tell you, but um, the actual quality of the products, um, their texture, their um, the, the durability of the fragrance, the actual fragrances, if you like them, are really good. Um, here I've got the body cream wash in almond coconut milk, and I have the um, body cream here as well they call it a milk souffle and uh, in the same scent that's the almond coconut milk and the creme brulee sugar scrub because I had some of the creme brulee products as well excuse me just having a mouthful of coffee now um, what I don't like about them is that they come in the jars and um, they're, they're good quality heavy jars but that means that they're very difficult to travel with is one thing. But more to the point, I actually just don't find jars very hygienic. You know, dipping your fingers in and out for product over the months that it takes to use it is really not very nice, you know, however clean and hygienic you are. And the products, a large part of the product is exposed to the air, however careful you are about screwing the tops on. So... I just don't understand why we're getting into all these jars. They seem to be becoming more and more popular. Now, one of the bath products, uh, I've forgotten which one it is, but it's a kind of gloopy thing that you pour into the bath, actually comes with a, like a wooden stick. It's meant to be honey, and it's meant to be a honeycomb that you twist round 
twists the, the and and push it into the bath. It's the most fiddly, ridiculous thing I've ever come across. But pouring the um, bath product out is really difficult as well because it's syrupy. So I just wish that they would put this cream in a pump or it's the best um, solution because that's totally um, airtight then. But I appreciate that because the body cream is thick, it's a good quality cream that really sinks in to the skin although it does leave a bit of residue on the skin. It's quite greasy compared with some body cream, so it's not my very favourite from that point of view. Um, but it, it might be too gloopy to have in a pump, in which case there's no reason why it couldn't be in a tube. Um, so I wish they'd do that. Apart from anything else, you drop this, you know, you really damage your bathroom tiles or whatever. But, you know, it's a nice cream. Um, I like coconut. It's very almondy, this this particular scent, but it's nice. I liked the um, cream body wash as well. It lasted ages, good quality, and at least was in a, um, a, a bottle that you could squeeze out of. It's a bit more hygienic. Um, wasn't as keen on the body scrub. I'm not sure you need to spend a lot of money on body scrubs. You don't want one that's got really gritty bits in it that damage your skin. But that aside, there's nothing magical about a scrub. Um, so I think that's an area where I would save in future. Another repeat purchase will be the Coris, um Cleansing Wipes in Milk Proteins. I think this is one I actually did buy in Greece or maybe from a European site. Um, I've just restocked, actually. I've got them by the side because I haven't put away. Uh, exactly the same product in America um, because they're a bit cheaper there than they are here in the UK. So I did buy a couple from Sephora and that's how they're packaged in the United States. But it's exactly the same product. A lot of people don't like quick cleansing wipes. I don't use them all the time, but quite useful when you're travelling or freshening up in the day or, again, just getting a bit of last residue off. And I really like the smell of these, the texture of the towels, which is quite soft and absorbent and generally a nice product. So, yeah, I have repurchased and I will repurchase. They're my favourite uh, wipes. Then I finished this just before I went away. This is Paula Wexler um, Skin Brightening Daily Moisturiser SPF 30. Um, I used this up quite quickly, in fact, you know, i.e. in a couple of months, which is quick for me. Um, again, the dreaded pot. Um, even, you know, more objectionable when it's an SPF because they are affected by exposure to the air so um, the minute you open the jar your product is going off big time um, which is particularly unfortunate when you're relying on a nice um, sunscreen this has got SPF 30 which I regard as the best level of sunscreen for daily um, moisturizer in northern Europe um, when you're not sunbathing unlike most which only still have an SPF of 15, which is frankly insufficient these days. Uh, I quite liked it. I haven't repurchased it, or rather I didn't repurchase it when I was in the States, um, partly because of the jar issue. I just think there are other products out there with a good SPF, which is important to me in the day and good moisturising um, properties um, that aren't in a jar. Uh, if she had you know, only got herself into a tube, I would have um, repurchased. I did repurchase, um, I haven't quite finished, but I'll show you, her Universal Anti-Aging Cleanser, um, which is one of these using, I think, lactic acid, which I think is... Uh, just looking at the... I haven't got time to look through it. It might not be a lactic one, but... Um, it's using kind of fruit acid, which I think is an exfoliation. Um, this is not an exfoliator per se. It's got no little beads in to rough up your skin. Um, but I think it's better to use these lactic acid ones um, as exfoliating washes a couple of times a week as a brightening treatment. And my dermatologist agrees. So I do like some of the Paula Wexler range, but... Um, wouldn't repurchase that. I had um, a nice um, eye ultra correction lift um, Chanel 
Uh, I sample. I liked it. Uh, I wouldn't repurchase. Uh, too expensive, I think. Uh, I went through a tiny mouthwash. I really like the Molten Brown mouthwashes. Fresh Mint, really good flavour, but they don't seem to make them in a bigger size. And I finished um, a Tom Ford Champaka Absolute Perfume. I'm going to talk in another video about the site that I use for decants to really try out perfumes properly before I buy. But this was a success because I loved the Tom Ford Champaka Absolute and I have ordered a bigger size. So um, I liked most of the things I finished last month. Um, see you again next month. Bye for now.